Welcome to Almost a Podcast, episode 186 with Paul and Barry. Hello, listeners. Wow, it's, it's been a while. It's been a while, yeah. yeah you keep dodging while. me. I've just have been working as well. So and you've been working, so working and working, that makes um and there's mm-hmm. been Christmas and all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. So it's probably been before Christmas since the last one. It's maybe, but yeah. But we have a pretty a very interesting topic to talk about big today. Topic. Big, big topic. Big topic. Topic of the moment. I hope we can get this out fairly fast. You know, like uh, yeah, while not it's strike good. while it's hot. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm gonna try and not do any editing. Okay, yeah, that's cool. Mm-hmm. And uh yeah, try, try and bang it out. Yeah. Because um we're talking about the game that without the game, this game, there would be no Warmaster. Exactly, yeah. The the parent game, the mother or father mother game. game. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, so um, today's topic is basically um, about War, um, Warhammer The Old World. It's released, what it's done locally in our club, which must be repeated across. It can't be, our club can't be unique in how it's reacted to this. We are quite and, an old club. Though. Yeah, but like, is it, like well, well, explain, yeah, explain these details. And also, and, we'll, and finally, we'll relate that back to Warmaster in terms of like, you know, a, what, some what ifs here in terms of like, what if Warmaster, what if GW redid Warmaster again? And what would we, would this be repeated? I don't know. But yeah, so. I'm, I'm going to lead this because uh, yeah, it's been uh, yeah very interesting. So, uh, what is the what, Barry? What is the old world? What, what, is the old world? what is what happened? The old world. The old world is what what happened. If you go back in time and we forget about the um, the, the cheese the cheese times <laughs> the cheese times the cheese rocket to the moon <laughs> the cheese rocket to the moon uh, that yeah. destroyed everything. Yeah, and then caused Age of Sigma. Yeah, and me to stop playing. Yeah, well, I probably stopped playing before then because I hated Eighth Edition anyway. Yeah, so. you know it's problems. Mm. Yeah, mm-hmm. so I'd given up before this point. Yeah. And then obviously um, Age of Sigma came along, yep. round bases, yep. lots of unit coherence nonsense, no yep. ranks and flanks. Yeah, yep. mm-hmm. um, giant models, all yep. that nonsense. Yep. Um flying flying dwarfs. Flying dwarfs. Flying yep. dwarfs. Yep. Um and then they decided to go back. Now the reason they abandoned the original old world is because they couldn't make any fucking money in the old world <laughs> because everybody already had everything in yes. the old world. Yes. So if I've already got fucking 8,000 points for the orcs and goblins... Which you do? Well, I don't know. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, who counts? Who counts? Yeah, who yeah. counts? A lot of orcs and goblins. One, two <laughs> lots. <laughs> <laughs> Unless you're making new bent rubbish. Mm-hmm. What are you selling me? A book. Okay. And the books used to be dirt cheap. The books were like a tenner. And a new edition every four years or whatever yeah, it was. That's right. Mm-hmm. So what they've decided to do now, because they've realised after, I guess, Mantic had a game. It's been eight years out of print. Um, and, and other people have tried to do these Ranks and Franks games. And yeah. even your song is kind of like this. Yeah, I guess, yes, yeah. I, I, I was ex- I've always explained that I thought that a song was like a modern Warhammer. Yeah. yeah. So um, they've gone back to the well. Yeah. And I think it'll probably, it'll probably do better than Middle Earth does. I mean, the potential way bigger. Like so, okay, so so the, I'm going to explain like my take on what's happened nationally, and then later what ha- what's happened locally because it has been remarkable. So now, we've known it's been coming for ages, four and a half years. But yes. as as with typical GW, there was no notice to the pre-order. It's like boom, here it is, boom, it's sold out, uh, boom, this, boom, that. If you weren't on finger on the pulse, yeah. like me, yeah, yeah. I wasn't finger on the pulse. No, no. Mm-hmm. By the time I knew there was stuff to buy, there was nothing to buy. Oh, right. <laughs> well, nothing to buy that I wanted to buy. Yeah, well, okay, fair enough. Like rule books, <laughs> army books. I mean, how, how they don't handle the pre-order is uniquely DW. It's just like, great. <laughs> so I, didn't, I didn't keep up to that. I just knew that I wanted to buy stuff yeah. and there was nothing to yeah. buy. So, let, so let, me, let me tell you a story. Yeah, like, okay. Um, mm. So, um, basically... Um, I don't know if it's a question of GW not not realizing how popular this would be, even though or, this was the game yeah, that started the company. Or is it a case that they just didn't make much of it? You know, like you know, like um, so it you know, which is it, or, or is, is it both? Or is it the fact that they pushed it off to Forge World and they don't have the capacity to do? Yeah, exactly. Like GW can't make everything. It's not Horus Heresy, is it? Maybe they thought it'd be like Horus Heresy, you yeah. know, like with a couple yeah. of nerds yeah. playing. Yeah, yeah, I. I don't know, yo. Um, so that yo, they have... if you if you if you go back in the realms of time, there used to be a point where the forty k and fantasy were about equal mm. in numbers, player mm. numbers. Not that long ago, yeah. seventh edition, sixth edition, maybe. Yeah. So the the potential player base is enormous. Yeah, yeah, it's massive. I mean, so 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 basically, what happened nationally is they've 
they had the pre-order and it was sold out. It was like, boom, gone. You know, like very fast. Very fast. And everything sold out. And they and yeah, you know, like and that's including like the core rule book, which we have a copy of here. Forty five quid rule book. Forty five quid rule book, yeah. I mean that, it's, that, it's, that, a, it's a lovely it's a well done. Well that's not negligible. No, but, it's a, but it's a well done bit of work on it. No mini yeah. rule books kicking around either, is no, this or no, nothing. No, that. Yeah, like and they, they didn't do like a two player starter set, they did two factions, the Bretonians and Tomb Kings as their thing. And it's like literally these are boxes of like seventy odd, ninety odd models where one is new in it, <laughs> you know, and it's like literally like the sprues have 2002 written on them, like and stuff. Well, they're the newer ones, yeah. <laughs> imagine, if, like, imagine if they do an awkward one. Some of those old models are like ancient, late like, 90s, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. And, and anyway, um, so <laughs> yeah, so it's like even though people are literally selling you over 20 year old stuff, it's gone, and it's like, and it's you know, and it's just been hilarious seeing like some people I know. Get so like I've got to buy this, and it's like you've had twenty years to buy those models. You know, like well, they're trying to buy the old models. No, no, is it as in like buying these new like army? Do sets? they come with the right size base? Do you have, yes, you have to do. buy yeah. separate bases? That was that was the, the biggest yeah. kick in the balls because somebody said to me, "You can't get the books, but you can get the modular base kit and the rebasing packs." <laughs> do you know they were charging thirty quid for a hundred bases? Uh, yeah, yeah, apparently so. One hundred thirty by thirty plastic bases. For thirty quid, not round. Not, the yeah. square ones, thirty square by thirty square. Ones, the ones that you, you're moving up to, or yeah, twenty five by twenty five. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Mm. And then what? Mm. Thirty quid. Mm. That's yeah. insane. Yeah. And those modular movement tray things, the ones you've got to spend hours cutting up and fucking <laughs> cementing together. Well, at least not. you can make them what the size you want them to be. Twenty quid. But yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 they, they want they want effectively like one hundred and fifty of me to rebase my army. Yeah. Just to rebase it. Just to rebase it. Well, if you're going to rebase it. Yeah, well, I ain't rebasing yeah. No, it. but you just use those moving trays, that the MDF ones that like have the, just expand yeah. them out. Yeah. Anyway, um, so yeah, it's it, it's crazy. It's just like, but it's not, it's that nostalgia pop in terms of like, I mean, how can, it's like, if you're in GW, like the Puzzle Palace, and it's like, do they just not realise like this would be popular? I don't know. Or is was it, all... it, it wasn't, it wasn't popular. That's the point. They just couldn't make any money. <laughs> It was popular. Mm. Players played it. Yeah, yeah. But they couldn't make any money out of it because everybody had already got everything they ever wanted. <sighs> How many fucking Skaven did you have? Oh, enough. Yeah, like, <laughs> yeah, like more than one, two lots. Yeah, like, uh, yeah um, so, and that's and that's the case. It's been, and, they, and they ran um, an open day for the old world and it was packed out. It was queues going, three hour queues to get into the thing. And they were like, and they were just like, you know. What, to do few, what? Well, a few, uh, as in like, Play the game, like, be, experience it. It wasn't like a, yeah, that was a warmer world, and it was like clearly one of their best events, and they like accidentally did it. You know, like <laughs> it's like it's like, it's like There's you know, a guy dressed up in cosplay. That's it's, it. It's, One it's guy like, dressed like, as a you know, green knight. Like, like failing upwards all the time. It's hilarious. It's they don't like, even have to try. You know, it's like, oh yeah, yeah. Anyway, um, we'll take your money. Come on. So that's what's happened nationally, and and it's great to see. But like locally, this is this is what's like being this is the thing I wanted to record the podcast about you know because okay so a bit of context our gaming club had has had a big price rise you know for 2024 the venue like increased its rates you know it should have increased its rates of you know years long time ago. Long time. hadn't it done it and so we've had to increase the membership rates now uh, you know we have the money we've paid the bill for this year but we need to raise the money for next year and the way we so what we need is I'm the president of the gaming club is what what we need is we need revenue we need footfall through the club we need people to be at the club playing games yeah and so I was always with one of the old world I was always going to be interested in it and like I'll give it a shot because you know nostalgia is a thing and I'd be like yeah and it's like be interesting to see if it I mean I'd hope it would be better than eighth you know um, you know and, well it struggled to be worse well it struggled to be worse and it generally does seem to be a really good addition this thing. I've not heard any negative reviews about okay. the addition actually of it so far anyway but it was still it'd still be Warhammer and it would still have the problems that Warhammer always has you know they ain't gone away they won't have gone right. away you know but anyway it's the game that everyone knows you know like um well, so I was like, okay, and this, you know, and this can be a mechanism, a vehicle to get people in the club, you know, get people playing in the club. I did not anticipate how many people are interested in Warhammer the Old, like in our club. 
Like, so organically, a WhatsApp group like came out of it. I set that up and it's like, yeah, we're cool. We'll do an escalation league. A simple, yeah, 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 which okay. are, and really simple rules of it. Like, so if 2,000 points is the, is the size of game you're going to play, we'll start first 500, um, you know, and from that day in the sand, you know, play games at 500 points yeah. down the club. And a really simple three points if you win, two if you draw, one if you lose. Okay. You know, like, um, and have a minimum of, have three colours minimum and based on the models. So, because, like, this is the thing, it's like, have, when you're starting something new like that, have everything painted. Even to that, like, so I gave an example, you know, of like I'm running this. Uh, where's my example piece? This, oh, this guy. He doesn't is, look like a rat. No. Yeah, like this why, guy. Why, why is, is he not ratty? Well, I'll explain. You know, like, um, so that Empire Halberdier has three colours, more than three colours on him, um, and that'll do. You know, like, you know, it's based. That's too big. You know, like, um, you know, it, yeah, obviously I would go back later and do detail, but even an army looking as simple as that, where well, it looks way better than bare plastic on the table. Um, I recently, like the club ran a doubles Age of Sigmar event and people were playing with unpainted armies and it just mm. looks bad. Mm. You know, like... Um, Although don't be, don't be too much of a snob about it, but this is right, this is right. Yeah. You've got to yeah. find a middle yeah, ground. I, I found, I've basically, I'm not, there's, no, there's no quality checking. There's no like... That isn't good enough. Or that. It's like, there's the rules. Get three colours on Get that three model. Get three colours on it. Yeah, like, you know, and not just a stripe on the base. Uh, black house is a colour, yeah? The undercoat uh, black's a colour. Black's a colour, <laughs> yeah, it's sprayed. You're like, yeah, is it like, that's a colour. So that's a fourth colour. Because it's like, I'm conscious also, is in like, life could get oh, really busy and I might not get to finish. Like, as in, like, as in... Especially if you're doing rats. Yeah, no, 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 like, it's exactly. Is it like, like, there is, like, that standard will be enforced and if people turn up with stuff that isn't three colours minimum, they can't use it. You know, like, oh, you can't use it. You know, um, anyway, um, and, you know, and then that's that's literally, you know, you don't want to confine people in too many too many stipulations uh, for um, such a thing. And it's really simple. It's just like, and the idea is, is play people you, you know, people you don't know, play them down the club. Yeah. Um, and, yeah, and it's like this WhatsApp group of, like, has risen to, like, 20, 30, or like, and pe names of people I haven't seen in ages. And it's like, and it's, wow, look at it. Like, now, obviously, what I would love would be a Warmaster, such a thing. Like, you know, as in, like, a Warmaster Escalation League and get everybody playing Warmaster down the club. But that isn't going to happen. You know, like, as Warmaster much as, was only very small compared yeah, to Warhammer. That's what I'm saying. Is it's like, is in, like, what, what I, so this is what I'm doing for, not only because I'm, I'm going to enjoy it as well. You know, like, yeah. you know, but it's, and also, I'm, so there I've got, that's Empire there and they're 3D printed and, the, yo, that, are they? That's, yeah, they're, they're, they're not GW. Well, you're going to take them down to GW, are you? No. Oh, yeah, like, I can't. <laughs> I, love one world. Like, I love <laughs> that the restriction. Like, I don't you know why. Or do you an official tournament, of oh. which there are none? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, the one we'll run. It's like, okay. Yeah, you're like, all right, I'll 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 cry myself to sleep for that. Yeah, like, um, so, yeah. Um, that's the thing. Is, is that, So, the um, and just but seeing how many players locally are interested it's just been crazy and it's like and, and like and people have come back to the club that I haven't seen in, in years to play one of the old world it's and, it's, and it's like also it's like it's people like people out on the fringes like in terms of like like our Gary you know for example like he'll be playing people he's never met before yeah. and he wouldn't have met if it weren't for the gaming club you know like at the gaming club it's like and it's like this will this will get people, loads of people playing the games and also bring in revenue and keep the club going right. so it's like win 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 so also why I'm playing in a Mordheim campaign. So yeah. I mean, I mean that, that might need to take a back seat now with the amount of time and effort this is going to take. Yeah, it's like, well, you, know, you only have to paint seven Skaven for a Mordheim campaign. Well, time. <laughs> yeah, like, but um, um, amazing that if that's replicated like nationally, which it will be, and internationally, how much how much m mana is falling into GW's well, but, but also, lap? But how much mana is, but also how much mana isn't. So, for example, um, like... There are ranges of like so the armies that they what they've done is they kicked out a game system with uh, nine supported factions and seven unsupported factions. But you can't buy the models for some of these factions from GW. They don't like they don't have them in stock. They don't sell them. What anymore? Well, no, like, oh, maybe they did, but they don't have them right now. So for example, it's in and and with and when you have a lack of supply, you're just like. If GW wanted people to 3D print stuff, they couldn't make it. Oh, but easier. they were always shit. This I remember. Yeah. I once went to a Blood Bowl, like the, the 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 big Blood Bowl tournament. I can't remember what nah. it's called. The the, the, the the big one, well, well, yeah. the fucking annual, the massive one was. It was a GW, and it went. And this was like there was like maybe 250 Blood Bowl players. Yeah. 
for a weekend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How much Blood Bowl stuff do you reckon they had in the shop? Oh. None. No. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, no. But, like, you could have fucking sold, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, <laughs> just, but they didn't even think about it. They didn't even no, 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 of course Ah, not. whatever, yeah, fuck them. Whatever. <laughs> Small fry. <laughs> so, I mean, the, the, for all the, the, all the money they make, the business acumen is, like, non-existent. I know. It's, a le- it's in, like, to put out a game system where you can't, but here's the rules, and they always said like, "We're a four and a half yeah, years." Yeah, it's, like, it's, like, it's like we're a miniatures company. We make miniatures, not rule, not war game, not games. And here we are putting out rules for a game. We ain't got the miniatures for it. It's well, you, you've like, known this is coming for I know, years. It's like, it's and you've like, done nothing. <laughs> nothing. Exactly. Exactly. Even if you sublet it to somebody else to make the fucking yeah. miniatures, just yeah, have commission stock. somebody else. Have stock. Like sell it to people. They'll buy it. Like, like, because, because, absolutely right. If you don't have stock, they're going to go elsewhere. They, maybe they'll go to Mantic, maybe yeah, they'll print. People, there are people in our local community who are so FOMO, is just crazy, they're literally going out of their way to buy a Tomb King's starting set, an army. And they are, they are well marketed. I'll give Jimmy a... Yeah, how much they can they? do. Uh, the Tomb King one is 175? That's not even an army, is it? It's 1,250 points. So most, yeah. more of an army. Anyway, um... But it's full of 20-year-old models, which, you know, six months ago, you could have bought for nothing on eBay. You know, like... Well, you know, bought them, well, you? Yeah, like, yeah. But it's also, it's also, it's like, you know, it's Tomb Kings, for example. It, what, some of the models look awful there. Like, the skeleton horsemen, the skeletons, the skeletons of horses don't look good. And on Etsy, there are so much better sculpts there waiting for you to, like, print yeah, off. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. so the empire that I'm doing is in, like, they're all from a range called Highland Miniatures. Right. Yeah, which I think is a one man, sh- one a man and a wife show apparently in Spain. They like, really and it's that? like, and they've done much better designs of Empire models than GW currently does. Yeah, you know, like well, yeah, you know. because there's a lot of eyes on the prize. Yeah, exactly. Like, what is what is like? There's just this whole thing with like even Blackgate. What the crumbs off the table yeah. of GW are like a feast yeah. for a normal person. <laughs> it's like oh, I can start a little business doing yeah, this. Yeah, yeah, but it's yeah. like GW. I can't even be bothered getting out of bed. Mate. It's like whatever. Yeah. Forget about it's it. It's crazy. Um, and it's so like, imagine how much 3D printed stuff is now getting done for the old. Well, that's world. the thing. It's like there are people who would have bought from GW but couldn't. Because GW didn't have the stock, it's not a no, no locally thing. So they bought, they like. There's a guy in there. Like, there's a couple of the guys who are three D printers, and they're printing stuff for other people. Yeah. So I was gonna pony up mm-hmm. for a rule book yeah. and the army book yeah. for the orcs. Yeah. So between them, that's like eighty. Yeah. No discount because it's yeah. gonna come from GW because yeah, they yeah. don't give you yeah, any yeah. fucking discount. Yeah, so eighty pounds. Couldn't buy them. Yeah. Couldn't even pre-order them. Yeah. There's no dates in in sight for when they're gonna achieve when they're gonna arrive. And then suddenly the PDFs appear, and now it's fucking game over. Yeah. One day in the future, I might pony up, but right. for, until I like the game and I know I've played the game, I like. The I game, mean, so no more money for what's me. What's crazy now. is like I was away with work on the on the um, pre-order moment. So Gary bought, you know, went to, was in Chelmsford and bought and ordered from in store because they. You know, that, what did that, they give you? What? Apart from tickling your balls, what did they give you? A little special uh, coin, a collector or that? coin, collector coin, which is worth fifteen quid on eBay, by the way. You've already sold yours. No, I looked at what it's priced. I'm, <laughs> I might keep it. Yeah, you know, like, but it was like, yeah, it's worth fifteen quid. Anyway, um, and but then when it came round to like the delivery day, is in like due out Saturday, they weren't. There was no oh, stock because yeah, you were all having a big special breakfast, yeah, 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 and yeah, then we're going to go and queue and collect. It's all lovely yeah, 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 until they said, "Not for you, sir." No, we knew actually before then. Yeah, but only the night before. Only the night before because. The uh, because the what somebody in GW's <laughs> in our group and told us, you know, like um, it, no fun for you to no, it's serious, it's serious. <laughs> But it's like, but literally, they had stuff on the shelves, but they couldn't, they couldn't give you the stuff on the shelves. So you've already paid for this. Hey. So they, so they had, so you've already Ron bought had something. stuff to sell. Yeah. The local manager. Yeah, not much, but he did. Had stuff in the shop. Yeah. Yeah. Not books, obviously. No, but he couldn't give that to somebody who's bought it. Yeah. And already paid for it because that was because, different stock. Yeah, it was different stock. Yeah, that was store stock <laughs> to sell. I mean, I do feel, I do feel, I think Ron avoided the worst of it, but I think there were some other store managers who must have really got irate people coming in. Like, okay, I'm well, that's going to do stuff. nuts. I'm taking it, mate. I've paid. Yeah, for yeah, it. yeah exactly. It. What are exactly. you going to do? Yeah, yeah. Call the police, mate. I paid yeah, for yeah, it. Yeah, Here's yeah, a receipt. Yeah, yeah. Here's a receipt. I love that. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> 
yeah. It's like <laughs> you can buy it again. I mean, just just the shirt responsibility down to the store manager. The store manager. Who, it was like and it, for people in the rest of the world, you yeah. might not know this, but um, about ten years ago, in the dark days of probably around the same time they made the decision to kill Warhammer Fantasy. Mm-hmm. They went to single running on most shops. Mm. So that means that that, running, that yeah. man member of staff is on their own. If mm. they want to go for a piss, they have to close the store. Yeah. Yeah. They want to go to lunch, they have to close the store. And you're expecting that person to kind of deal with irate customers on their own with and, no and, backup. And, and, and with a real fair, legitimate reason oh, why they're for sure. annoyed. Yeah, exactly. Because they haven't been told their stuff's not there. Well, like, it is there. No, no, no. It's just not there, Yeah, exactly. It's there, mate. Like, wow. Yeah, and yeah, so yeah. you're expecting me to stand there on my own with no backup, nobody yeah. to ring yeah. the police or anything, yeah. and just have rows with people. Exactly. For, like, spending them. It's like not fulfilling, like, his, a transaction's been made. Oh, but you can't have it. No. Yeah. You can buy <laughs> you, it. And you might be able to have it later. Maybe. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> yeah, but who knows? <laughs> like, <laughs> what a... What a Fucking shit show. Anyway, it, like so. But through all that, through all that, people are still loving it. Yeah, and pe- and people are like, and people then are also like cancelling their pre-orders with GW and getting it from somewhere else because they found it somewhere else. Because yeah, you know, it's like so. It's like yeah, that's what happened in our group. Is right. it like oh, I would have got it from GW. I did. I did pre-order it from GW, but some random independent had a few bits in stock, and I've driven over there and gotten it. And I've, so I've cancelled like the pre-order with GW. But I suppose it's still the same money for them, but it is, you know, it's like... Well, it's not, because they don't get the same amount. I don't know, I don't know, but like, this whole GW, thing... GW, when they sell it to you, right? So if I'm GW and yeah. I'm your Paul yeah. Inc. Yeah, yeah. So I sell it to you for roughly like, I don't know, say say you'll give me 25% discount. I sell it to you for like 65% yeah. of retail. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. And then you make your 10% margin and sell it at 25% off. If I'm selling it direct to the customer, I get all of it. All your margin... All the twenty five percent discount, all my margin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it's just how to do things and how not to do things. Um, anyway, yeah. so you know, uh, yeah, that is the, that's what's happening nationally and that's what's happening locally, and it's great locally because it will be the club will be bouncing with this game right. system. Yeah, you know, and it'll be great to see, and everyone's starting at the level. That is, everyone's got the same playing field in terms of like. I've already got a thousand points painted. Well, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, look at you, look at you. Like, how about <laughs> for, it, for, for you, especially? Well, this was fifteen years ago. Yeah, 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 yeah. Still counts. Yeah, like, I won an escalation yeah. league at Taylor. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Right. Um, and I, yeah, I'll start with Empire. Um, Skaven. Um, I, I can't. I won't do. I won't get the Skaven range that's. Currently Shall we talk in. about it? Uh, legacy ones, we should get that. Yes, away. yeah, yeah. So, so right. There are there are there are nine. nine. So there's five legacy. good guys, yes. of which dwarves, two elves, wanky elves, and Wood woody elves, 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 woody elves, and high elves. Yeah, yeah. And empire, empire, Bretonian, and Bretonian, and, Bretonian. 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 and then on the bad side, you've got chaos warriors, beastmen, oh, orcs and goblins, and tomb kings, who are questionably not evil. Well, there you go. Cetra's evil. Yeah, like. okay. <laughs> and then you've got uh, seven legacy armies. Yeah, everybody now, else. Now, they did a similar thing when they moved to Age of Sigma, and they gave people rules for models. Yeah. Now, how long those rules lasted with contact with the real world is yeah. a, different, so a different animal than entirely. Here's a question. So I, obviously, as anyone knows this podcast, will know it's given of my thing, my jam. You know, um, I play Which flavour? All flavours. All of them, you like all the all the different varieties of Skaven. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I wouldn't have said there was there was one that stood above the other for me. Okay. Well, it's all well, Skaven. Well, it's um, but so this so this legacy, I've got it in my hands here. This legacy army list for Skaven, um, it has you know, it, it basically it's it has corrected the major issue of Skaven, or the biggest issue of Skaven, the hundred blocks of Skaven slaves that were that were leadership ten un, un, yeah with rerolls like the, the, the you could kill enough of them in you could kill enough of them so, to yeah, do, do yeah, anything yeah exactly that's gone there is so no, as soon as you tied up with them the game's over yeah, that unit. so there is no unit of Skaven slaves anymore that what's, the, what's the biggest unit oh, no, no Skaven at all there's no Skaven slaves at all um, and they've capped clan rats at maximum of forty models you can't make a and there's no two. horde but they have a horde rule. But about just Skaven or for everybody? No, 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 but it's not the same rule as you know it is. Um, basically, Horde means you add your... Um, what does Horde mean? I'm not sure. But like they, they have a Warband, they, which basically add their leadership to their rank bonus. Right. Yeah, that's still there. Like So you still get Brave Skaven if there's enough of them, but you can't go beyond... You, with Clan Rats being the cheapest unit entry now, which is four points, which because Skaven says like two, and I'm like, you know, like, you, know um, you can't get... Beyond, you can't go beyond 40, and 40 you could kill. 
you know, um, so it's like, okay, they've, and they've also... And they're not trivial then. It's still a couple hundred point units. Yeah, so, so you're like talking like, okay, so... 160 plus upgrades. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, exactly. Yeah, 200 points. Yeah. So, and it's, and um, also they've taken away uh, Life is Cheap. So Skaven could shoot into combat. They were the only race that could do that. They can't do that anymore. Yeah, right. like so, and that was a uniquely Skaven thing to do, which I like okay. to do. Yeah, so, so my basic battle plan in, in Warhammer was: there was a here's, battle plan, here's was these it? Skaven slaves. They will jab up whatever's in front of them, and then I'll shoot into combat. Because if I shoot a Skaven slave, that's two points. If I shoot a Chaos Knight, that's forty points. And it's like, you know, and yay me, you know, like, uh, um, and so, yeah, you know, it wasn't foolproof. You know, there's ways you could like play. Yeah, you know, it couldn't do everything. Obviously, they weren't very maneuverable these blocks at all. They could go forward, but they couldn't turn. No. You know, like, you know, um, so, uh, yeah, and that was that was what Skaven could do. But it was uniquely Skaven, and they've taken that away. So it's like, oh, okay, so now at a quick glance at... And it's good, because that was broken. That needed to go. You know, like... Um, it wasn't just broken, it was annoying yeah, yeah. to and play I, again. And I do, yeah, and I do... And, I, and it's weird they took away the, the life is cheap, the shooting into combat rule, because, again, okay, that was... Because if you reduce the numbers, that would hurt Skaven as much as anybody else. But again, that's a uniquely Skaven thing. They've taken that away. And I don't know. And so I, so if, at a quick glance of this Skaven legacy, there's everything else is in there still. Could it's only been out like an hour or two. Yeah, an hour or two before recording. Yeah. You know, um, is that um, I suppose a clan scry list would be good because you could have like lots of the wonder weapons and you don't have to like, and you have blocks of 20, 25 clan rats to like escort the wonder weapons. And right. basically, you've got this kind of shooting army, which is just again that would be uniquely Skaven with all right. the random things. But I'm not interested in using and getting the old Skaven models of 20 years ago because they haven't changed. You know, like yeah. and and that was therein lies madness. That's literally the army I used to have. Yes, that I quick shaded and like varnished, and it was indestructible. And I had my bucket of Skaven. Right? Yeah, right. Really but so and the, but these here on the table are how good Skaven could look. And they're from. Punga miniatures, which is a US outfit, and they're like they're two examples from my Mordheim warband, which are yeah they're not finished painted yet, right, right, right. but they are dynamic, very dynamic. Yeah. Plastics are they? No, or resin, resin. So they're three D printed. Okay, nice. yeah. Um, so um, yeah, they were uh, they were a tester thing. It was like they'd be pricey to buy a whole army for them, and it doesn't have the complete, it doesn't have an untold range. Like that range doesn't have a clan rat, for example, right. like a clan rat units. So. I don't know. I don't like the jury's out whether I will do Skaven, but you know, but and that's why I and I and I feared it's like, are these legacy armies going to be dead in six months' time? Uh, if not six months, because because they're not going to change for at least no. four years. No, they're going to change at all. No, no, it's in like this edition of War of the Old World is around for at least four years. Well, yeah, okay. So say the edition stays, but everybody gets the little special books with the little the special Archangel theme Jones, armies yeah. and stuff, and they'll probably get more than one of those. Think, those it's... arcane journals have been good so okay, far. Okay, yeah, but the they're, they're, they're not going to want out this year, so there's nothing to say. Won't knock another lot out next year no, or no, the year no. after. Or also going for the next one. Yeah. So. They might survive contact. They might survive six months. They won't survive four years or six years because they're not going to update them. No, no. they've ne never said they're going to update no, these. No, no, no. They, they've literally said this is all you get, you know, for this this version of the game. So if you want to play, you want to play this edition because yeah. what happens eventually? This edition will go, and another edition will come. Yeah, yeah, which might be set somewhere. So this this edition is set two hundred years in the timeline back from where we last had Warhammer. So when they redid. The second and third edition of Age of Sigma, did yeah. they reproduce the rules for the old legacy armies? No, I don't think so. No, I'm yeah, 100% no. sure they didn't. I don't know, but it's, uh, you yeah, so it's... So I would be mm. ultra ca careful about spending too much money on a legacy army. Mm. And those legacy armies are Skaven, yeah. Orcs and uh, Ogres. Yeah, so they, and they, they've explained fluff reasons why Skaven have had a, are basically doing a civil war and are gone underground. Have they? Well, that's that's why they uh, they are, they're always underground. Yeah, but yeah, but like <laughs> they're not coming up. Yeah, you know, like yeah, okay. you know, um, ogres are doing yeah you know, aren't are doing their just own fucked thing. off. Dark elves aren't aren't uh, too been, nipply been, now. Yeah, too been, nipple, been too many nipples. Like you know, so they're they're in um, demons of chaos because there's a lack of a lack of magic at this Is time. That? Well, there's magic, but there's a lack of over magic. Right, uh, not for the beastmen and shit. The lizardmen are a legacy army. Oh. They're like doing, they're doing their own thing. Whatever. They're involved. And vampire counts. Vampire counts. Yeah, which is no, strange. No. What about vampire counts? But again, vampires have been put down in the empire recently. Put so down. He's in like they not destroyed totally, but they're like you know people are living in the Serlin, the sun, you know, in Serlin again. So I think it's one more, isn't it? We got seven. Uh, so ogres, chaos dwarfs, chaos dwarfs of yeah. course, big pointy hats. Big pointy hats. Yeah, which I did see in an interview of why they have those big pointy hats. Basically, 
Brian and sort of like or like smashing down directions to make the hats bigger. Keep making it bigger. Yeah, keep making it bigger. <laughs> make it their thing. Yeah. You know, anyway, um, so that's sad for those seven. Yeah, hats. it is. It is really sad. Yeah, like because because it's like okay, I can understand the flaw. Okay, fair enough. And and it's uh, so like they it's what Jibo gives and takes away. Like they've given you these like army books where they can take all the good army, all the good armies are there, and all the evil ones are there. That's good. That's right. That's owning four or five things in one. It's You're like, not going to get upset about Tomb Kings being evil. I guess they're neutral, really, aren't they? Yeah. Like, you know, like, I guess if the guy wants to conquer the world, he's got to uh, be Orcs and Goblins are really evil. They're just fighting their shit. It's like nature, isn't it? Yeah, like, get out of the way. Is a lion <laughs> evil? <laughs> like, <laughs> you know, um, so, okay. And it's like, yeah, and it's, but I'd be tempted to, if, if I was going to do Skaven, it would need to be from a different range of models that look really good. You know, like, as in, I'd be well tempted. Like, if someone gave me a Punga Miniatures Skaven army, for example, I'd be like, yeah, cool, fantastic. This is, these are cool. But you'd still, even when you aren't going to, can't, you're capped at 40 in a unit, you're still going to need an awful lot of Skaven. Oh, fuck, you know, like, millions you know, of them. Yeah, you know, Skaven them. don't do anything else but our infantry. Yeah, you know, like, and, loads of them. But that, that's why I started off with Empire, because Empire being jack of all trades, have something and everything. Yeah. I can play in all phases of the game. All phases of the game. Um, yeah, um, so, so yeah. well, what would you say to people if they were tempted, but to, they, they had a legacy army? Well, if you've already, Gary's got a legacy yeah, army, if you already own it, play well, it. they don't, do they? People are buying into it again, aren't they? Oh, That's okay. what I'm well, saying. I say, yeah. I mean, if you already own it, play it. If you don't, yeah. Think about, I mean, I think any event, aside from GW's actual ones, will allow legacy armies. Yeah. Like, as in, why restrict the fun? Well, if you go back to, like, um, the kickoff of Middle Earth, the latest edition... Yeah. They give the the rule book and all the stuff the stuff that came in with it. I don't think there were any army books. I think it was just the rule yeah, book. Yeah. But then they started doing the little um, kind of theme books. Yeah, which are there. Yeah. There's fucking millions of them. Yeah, millions of them now. And how many people play non-theme army lists in Middle Earth? Mm. Probably not many. I suppose. Well, yeah. This is this is my yeah. concern. Oh, right, okay. So this is. I mean, they they've got the model from Middle Earth. They know that if they just allow people to play with the base fucking rules from the army list, oh. people have got everything they're going to need. Yeah, true. And what the, just like they did in War Machine, where you suddenly you can only take one unit of these fucking troll champions or whatever they fucking were. Yeah. Now you've got a whole army yeah, of troll yeah, champions. Yeah, yeah. You know, you got buy six units of fucking troll champions. <laughs> The theme list is where the game will live and die. Space, yeah. And the special characters. Because that's where the money is for them. There's no money in this old shit. That's why they haven't even bothered making the old shit. They didn't want to make it and then realise they really still had it all. Yeah, it's true. Okay. So they yeah. wanted to see how much do we need to make. Oh, we need to make some more of that. Oh, we'll do a bit of that shit. But the real money for them is in the new shit. The legacy, what do they call them? Armies of Renown or some shit in the book. They call them... Oh, um... The, yeah, yeah, if, yeah. Okay, the, in the arcane journals, the themed lists. Yes, yeah, so yeah. basically, they're not called themed lists, but basically, there's a theme list, yeah, yeah. and there's some special characters. Yes, that's right. Yeah. And then there's some magic items and toss and some fucking yeah. spells, new spells and shit. Yeah. But it's all irrelevant. Yeah. Basically, there's like theme lists. Mm. So you got like a troll list. Yeah. I don't know what that. Oh means. yeah, you've, you've seen the Orc and Goblin one. No, yeah, I've seen all of them. Yeah. The, the PDFs are out. Yeah, but the, not their arcane journal isn't out yet. Yeah, of course it is. Is it? Yeah. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Oh, okay. So today, oh. today, you're just on my, on, that, my, that's not on, even, my that's not even... on the WhatsApp group. Somebody, so today, all the PDFs of everything is out. Yeah, but that that you, I can understand. Yeah, but the all, all can go in yeah, the journal. King, yeah, I'm the two can go in journal. So it's wow. like even if you wanted to spend money, <laughs> I can't because there's no one to spend money, <laughs> and the PDFs have appeared. Wow. So I'll just use the PDFs for now, yeah, 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 and then yeah. we'll worry about if it, if I like the game, I'll buy it. Later. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah. But yeah. Uh, a troll army. Now, who'd have thought of having an army just of trolls? How many trolls are we going to have to be? Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. Maybe there's a troll pack due out yeah. soon. <laughs> oh. Or a troll army box. Yeah. yeah, okay, fair enough. Who leads the troll army? I don't know. I'm, 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 I'm going to have like, a dig it out if you want. I've got the, oh, yeah. the PDF yeah. with me. But, um, oh, that's sweet. But, um, so that's where the, that's where the push is going to okay. come. That's, okay. where the, the, that's where the game is going to move to, yeah. in my opinion. That's what happened with Middle Earth. That's what happens with most games when they have theme lists. People move to the theme list because the, the benefits... There are no negatives of taking a theme list generally as long as you go full in on the yeah. theme. Yeah, yeah, It's all plus side. Mm. Okay, so... So the Legacy Armies will have fuck all of that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's... Yeah. It's... I mean, it's a shame, but for, I say for me, I might do them in the future. Like, who knows? Like, escape an army in the future. But it would always... You know, 
it, like I'd be more tempted if nobody in the community was playing Skate. Nobody will play Skate. Yeah, like um, nobody. Yeah, and, but why would they? Well, you got to pay a fucking million miniatures. If you if you still had your miniatures, I'd play them. You know, I'd go. I got the old bucket old yeah. Skaven. Bucket Skaven. But where did they go? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Did well, they go on eBay? What? Where did they go? Oh, they, oh, they got sold on eBay, yeah. <sighs> you should go back in time and get the... Uh, no, no, back no, to the future no. and tell yourself, don't sell them, Paul! Don't yeah, sell yeah, them! Yeah, yeah. I suppose so. I did, went and saw the play of that. Like, recently, the did musical. you? It was good. You know, like, um, you know, there's a fourth one coming out. Oh, what? The same... They can't be the same actor. He's in it, but I don't. He doesn't, <laughs> he doesn't look great. No, oh, fantastic. Um, Spider Man's the main actor now. Ah, oh, right, okay, yeah. Sorry. Right, okay. So back on topic. So what? This is what. This is what's why the old one. Now, what would happen if it was War Master? So if in the future GW did War Master, no chance. I don't. I'm not saying there's no chance, but let's let's, 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 let's no say chance. a hypothetical, and they did it. Like right. the question. The topic. Our question is: Would they? Is in they they redo War Master? So they like do, they've done Epic. But they do, yeah, like like Legions Imperialis, they redo War Master. I don't know what they would call it. Like, you know, maybe War Master. You know, but they've like okay, war, it's War Master in the old world. Let's say that. they just stripped it back to Empire versus yeah, Empire. No, so, so, so what? So would do you reckon they would follow the same model of having like supported factions and unsupported? Because to support a War Master army is not much, is it? Oh, it's massive. It's two pages. Them. It's two pages of rules. Oh, not the rules, the models. Yeah. yeah. So, what do you, do you reckon they would? No, like, no, no. Is it, no, is it, if, okay, if they did, what would it look like? It looked like the epic thing, but it would be a dog's breakfast, wouldn't it? What? What do you mean? Well, look at the epic game. It's nothing like the game you'd ever want to play. It's just like Space Marines versus Space Marines, Blue Marines versus Red Marines. Yeah, that's that's Horus Heresy. Well, that's yeah. what it is. Well, they, well, if you can get hold of any of the models. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like they're making money off it anyway. They've already smashed their re- that release schedule back. You know, like, as if, like, it was really making the community sour. You know, like, yeah. But this, it's not the game, is it? And then there's, apparently there's no no plans to even expand it further than Marine on Marine. Action. I guess it would have to sell really well. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Again, so uh, uh, Warmaster now, the, the, the game's up, isn't it, for that? I mean, there are some traditional casters out there, but... 3D printing's where it's at. Oh, no, it? to- no, totally. I just so like... how could they compete? Where would they sell their models? Who to? Mm, I suppose. Yeah, no, it's, it's like, my point is, was like, this this huge interest in Warhammer the Old World, like, which is fantastic to see because, you know, it's, you know, it's like, it's the core game system. It's like, it is. It's, it's what, it was the core game system. It was system. the core game system. You know, and it's great that it'll be back again. It'll be great down the club. We'll have like six, seven, eight tables of Warhammer being played. And it's like, it'll be like 20 years ago. You know, um, but it's what is um, you know, if if when say GW did Warmaster, I just you know it would get some interest, but I think nowhere near like the level of interest would it? You know, in terms of and it's like and it makes you interested just like well, how would they do it? And it's like you know, as in I, yeah, right. I get. I'm guessing they might have, they might follow the uh, follow the same method of these are the supportive yeah you know, armies and these are the unsupported ones, but they are because they are redoing metal models again. For what? Yeah, for one of the other. Oh, yeah, but it's like cast to order stuff, yeah, isn't it? Like they do with yeah. Lord of the Rings. Yes, so it's available yeah. for one weekend on a pre order nonsense or whatever. Yeah, yeah, basically. And you've got to have your finger on the pulse looking every Friday to see what's coming out this weekend. Basically, yeah, yeah. But it's. They're, yeah. they're like, they love yanking your change. You've got to be like on it every week, on it, on it, on it, on it, on it. It's like, I don't live like this way. <laughs> <laughs> FOMO is a thing. FOMO is a thing. Yeah. Um, so I, the, the chances of them do War Master Zero. Yeah. Less than zero. No, I'm not, I'm not disputing. Less than zero. That. There's no money the, in it. The point of this, the point of this topic, was, the point of the topic was like, was to chat about like theoretically if they did what it would look like. So if if, if you've got the 40k pie, mm-hmm. and Epic is like a 10 percent, not it's, it's not even five percent, maybe two percent, yeah, two yeah. percent of that, one percent of the pie. <laughs> that pie is massive. Yeah, and if you say that. Um, what would Warmaster be a percentage of the Warhammer pie? It's tiny. It was time now, I swear. People only started playing Warmaster when they couldn't fucking play the old world, in a lot of respects. Hmm, okay. Because you still wanted your GW old ah, world vibe. So, okay, so so do we think that Warhammer the, Warhammer the old world being live in the world now, do you think that will that will make, that will, there'll be less Warmaster players? No, there'll still be Warmaster players. Would they, but will they juggle their time between? I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. Uh-huh. You only have a finite amount of time, a finite amount of yeah, paint, true. and it's not it's not a negligible task to paint a Warmaster army. No, no. I, in a lot of respects, I'd prefer to paint a 
28 mil on because I find that the, the, especially with the quality of the printing and shit now the detail levels on these fucking miniatures I just can't do it fair enough yeah I have, I've got like a big magnifying glass and I'm having to kind of yeah. <laughs> yeah, it is what it is. It is what it is. I mean, um, don't get me wrong. Like, I if I would have loved in our gaming club, I said, right, twenty twenty four, we're going to run. I'm going to run a Warmaster Escalation League, and then like, and the first, yeah, in like exactly the same format as I've done for the old world. But I know that it might get two, three, four interested people. It just wouldn't get any more. Like, uh, but this, and it's like, it's, you know, so you've got to play, like, uh, yeah, I know, I hear what you just said about Legions Imperialis. Generally, I want to play that game. Which? Legions Imperialis. The Horus Heresy. Yeah, Horus Heresy. Yeah. yeah, but no, but I want to play it, but I don't know the reg enough people who are regularly playing it. Nobody will play it. No, but I say, I'm Nobody really plays Horus Heresy. That's true. Is it Horus Heresy? Always they killed it sure. anyway, apparently. What? On the, on the sly, Horus Heresy's dead. What? The, the, the 28 mil. No, they just did, um, they just brought out. Um, Apparently, there's, the, the, there's, no, there's no more for. Uh, did they? Yeah, they just did that. I oh, I've got to stop listening to these internet. Yeah, yeah you know, they just they just brought out a whole new army set of plastic Imperial Guard, or what counts as Imperial Guard. Like, yeah, oh, that sounds, yeah, that's, that's interesting. Yeah. They've expanded it finally. Yeah, taken like ten years. Yeah, a lot of that, it's, we're like ten years too late, but they finally put out <laughs> a new range of an army. Like, uh, it's, yeah, it's not Space Marines. Wow. Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. I take it back. Yeah, but anyway, it's take it back. So I think Warmaster could expand on the back of this, okay. but only because the player base will this for Warhammer Fantasy will go massive. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And even if you get like five percent of them even remotely interested yeah. in Warmaster, that'll increase our player base too. Cool. Okay. Because there is a lot of crossover. Oh, there's loads of crossover. Like I mean, like there are things. Um, so the new the Tomb Kings got uh, their thing is their new thing was they got a guy riding a, a dead dragon, a bone dragon. Yeah, you know, which has always been a war master model for the since day one. Yeah. So it's like, yeah, it's like so people said like like tomb kings don't have dragons, and it's like, well, is it? Yeah, but like they're doing war master. <laughs> like, you know, um, so yeah, they've, just, they've done. I mean, they'll take inspiration, I think, from their old game systems. They, they, there's loads of war master art in this Warhammer: The Old World book. That's why they hoovered it up. That's why they did. Yeah, you know, they cease and desist. Yeah, you know, like and uh, yeah, you know, they hoovered up the art for the rule book. Oh no, the, 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 it's Bretonian and Tomb Kings, isn't it? The, Kings, the arcane yeah. Um, yeah. journals. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Not orcs. Not orcs. Yeah, you couldn't have gotten that. Well, I'm really. sure I've seen. I've seen it mentioned that. Yeah, it's mentioned what, yeah, they, yeah. what they are, but like it, they mentioned it themselves. But, yeah. Yeah. So. So the Green Knight's in the uh, obviously. Yeah, because he's immortal. Like, he's in the in the book in the in the arcane journal. Yeah, yeah. He's he's a. Uh, He's one of those special bit. characters that annoying fuck it, you kill him, he comes back. Yeah, because he's not like, you know, he's not a person, is he? He's just like a, an entity. You know, like, uh, like Bretonia, in, in this timeline, Bretonia definitely has not worked out that we're so big an elf god. You know, like, <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh, we're being duped by an elf god. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, so who, who knows where it will go? So one thing that I find interesting is that they've changed the table size. Not no, the, they haven't. No, they have. They have. No, they haven't. They haven't. They haven't. They haven't. They haven't. They haven't. What do you think? They definitely have. They've got a minimum recommended table size. If you're not playing on a 6x4, yeah. Yes, but who the fuck would play on a 6x4? Me! Yes, but you're crazy. <laughs> if you go back in time, or if you write a new game now, nobody's writing games for 6x4 yeah, tables. Yeah, I'm not going to play 500 points on a 6x4. That would be silly. Yes, but I'm saying... But that... there is a type, there is, the game size is 6x4. But it's not anymore. <laughs> I understand what you're saying. But it's, just, it's got two options. Right, this, is so, the, this is the whole, like, turn, like, how many turns do you have in Walmart? No, so, like, if you're writing a game to <laughs> yeah, okay. nobody in yeah. the house has room for a 6x4, unless you've got an enormous house, you live in North America or somewhere, or you've got, you're got playing at a game, right. nobody has room for a 6x4. Okay. 4x4, okay. four four, yeah, yeah, no yeah, problem. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Or think now, what was the game I played recently? ADLG. That was, like, a really weird, like, 5x4. Five three and a half or something strange mm. which is exactly the right size of a dining room table mm. Mm. All right. so I think that's what they've done it's like anybody write a game now for a 6x4 you're, 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 there's you're, also, you're crazy so the core like in Warhammer the Old World like combat now there's a new I mean maybe it's a really old option I don't know but now it's like because it used to be you fought combat and you broke or you held Yeah. now there's a third option is that you fall back you get pushed back Couple of inch, two inches. Is it? Yeah, sounds very warm. It's very warm, Master <laughs> Barry. It's <laughs> very warm. What if you can't fall back? Well, you're dead. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you know, like, no, it's very warm, Master. It's like so, and that is the most common combat result right. because you only flee if you have failed. Hey, but, but, no, but not uh, before modifiers. 
So if you're leadership eight and you got beaten by six, but you rolled an eight, you fall back. You don't. You're not fleet. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. But what happens? So combat's a lot more grindy. Right. Okay. And it looks. And it looks. Um, it looks. And, that, and to me, I'm like, that's a war master. Role. So you know, what again? size is a two thousand point game table now? Minimum. Well, it says six by four or the other. Well, it's in there somewhere. Or it's I'll have to see if we can pop that. Oh, take that, old books. Yep. We don't need them. <laughs> Table size while Paul's talking. Yeah, no, it's, it's, it's cool. It's just like, it's. I do hope that it. I do hope that this release does um, does help Warmaster, basically. I cool. really hope so. I mean, it'll get it'll certainly get people more people looking at the um, the world that was the world the yeah, the IP of Warhammer. And then maybe that will filter through to more players. That will certainly help that all the PDFs are available. <laughs> so, so it says minimum size of battlefield. Yeah. Now, uh, 1,001 to 3,000 points. That is a giant difference in size. It's a big game. Yeah, a big game yeah. Like 1,000 points to 3,000 points. Yeah, three times And that the size. is 60, which is 5 foot, yeah. by 44. 44 is. Mm -hmm. 48, what is that? 48 would be 4 foot. 72 is 6 is six foot, so it's... It's it's between 3 and 4 foot. Yeah. It's like 3 three and 3 quarter feet or something. Yeah. In, mm -hmm. Because we still deal in inches, because, you know, Brexit and Brexit. all that. <laughs> yeah, like, I'm going to write. <laughs> no, centimetres. <laughs> no centimetres here. No. Nope. So, um, we can govern ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> we can fuck it up ourselves. So, 5 feet long and about 3 and 3 quarters feet wide. Yeah. Which is a dining room table. There you go. Which is why they've done it. Which is exactly right, because that's what you want people to be able to do. Yeah. Because yeah. Mm -hmm. it's, uh, it's really annoying to get a 6x4 out, especially to play a small game. Yeah, I mean, it's... it's I suppose... Like um, Epic, I found all... The 6x4 was way too big for Epic. Most I of the loved time. it. I love that. Yeah, like, you proper, like, space. Oh, it was mad, though, wasn't it? it was yeah, I, Even I though stuff like, moves fast. Yeah, and, I suppose, but I, I just, like... I was yeah, like, so like, few yeah. stuff, though. It's good. And the table was massive. Massive, <laughs> massive man. Massive. The gun shot longer than the table. Yeah, that's good, isn't it? They wouldn't. <laughs> you know, like, yeah, well, they did. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, guns of unlimited range. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. Right. Yeah. So, I mean, that's basically all. So, what else you got on your list? What have what? we got? To, what is? It, we talked about that. National, yeah, Logan. Likely, um, you had a better list than this that you sent me. No, that is it. That is okay. the list. Yeah. It's just. Yeah. So, let us know mm -hmm. if you're going to play it. Yeah, and let us know if it's it's going to get more people into your group. Uh, uh, yeah, and and let us let let us know if if such a reaction has happened locally in your own gaming club. Has basically loads of loads of people have suddenly have gotten obsessed with one of the old world. Like, um, let us know. I'll well, tell you what we haven't talked about. Oh god, the fact they changed bases. Yeah, I suppose, but no, but that's a real thing. Why? I mean, they, to be fair, they didn't rank up very well. No, like, it's, especially... it's, I think I think it's because, well, no, I'd say models are more dynamic, but then they're all using all the old models. Maybe future models they want to do are more dynamic, and thus they need more space on the base. Because I remember when I had my orcs and goblins, the savage orcs, I had to. This is, somebody who's played Warhammer Fantasy will yeah, go no, back in time. You know this, and you had to number, number them, them and letter them. Yep. So you'd have row A, yep. one, two, three, four, yeah, yeah, five. Row B, one, two, fit. three, four, yep. five. And yep. that was the only way they got into the right to the, the tray. I mean, that, now it's like so. Anthony's doing Orcs and Goblins, and he's got the the tiny little night goblins. And they, the goblins they, from they, 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 they know it. They're, they're on twenty five mil <laughs> bases. It's just like. Oh dear. I've got <laughs> like, those. You've got to have Nike like, Goblins. Because yeah, they've got yeah, all yeah, the, they've like, got the they're, they're tiny and the, models. And, the, the, and the it's like, and they're just swamped on this, like, this base is just massive for them. Yeah, and it's like, oh well. <laughs> like, uh, oh well. Yeah. So if, uh, uh, I would definitely not recommend if you've got a painted army, like tearing the bases off or anything nonsense. So you can just, no, no, just you can print or like, buy, yeah. like, basically some MD, movement MDF tray movement trays. With yeah. the, which ex expands the frontage. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. I don't know how that works in game if you start losing models. Well, you know, but it, you yeah, you just you you have to work it in my like, It's yeah, not yeah. hard. Like, yeah, and then, yeah, and there's a lot of reforming going on. Reforming is a lot easier than it ever was, you right. know, like in Warhammer. Like, they have, I think they've removed a lot. It sounds like. They've taken the best of quite a few different editions, blended them together, and like removed some of the. Problems. How does the magic work? Because I can't. I, it's quite I, low power, actually. Magic. So um, your wizard has spells. Um, they how all, did they choose the spells then? The same way they used to. Like it was rolling dice. Like right. in the spell, you choose your spell. Or you can go to default if yes, you, if you didn't like the choices. Spells, yeah. okay. But you have you choose from a law. 
you know, um, so I'm going to, and, and this is a time where Empire, like magic hasn't been like codified. So like, you there's don't no have college the eight of magic. Or whatever. No, you have you have more general like battle magic. Right. Okay. But there are like, there are fucking empire. He- well, they're not formally trained like wizards, mm. but they are like running around doing like necromancy and shit. <laughs> <laughs> and you're just like, like what? <laughs> and you got this witch hunter like loading his pistol behind them, going like, "What the fuck are you doing?" <laughs> yeah. No. Oh, get some magic. <laughs> <up>, <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, like, uh, uh, no one taught me this, and it's like oh, I don't like that. <laughs> like, Fantastic. Yeah, so uh, that's quite cool. Yeah, um, but you you roll up your spells, um, and and each of the spells there isn't a magic phase. So what? There isn't. There's no magic phase. That was a massive bit of the game. There yeah. were three phases: yeah, fighting yeah. phases, one was magic, yeah, like one was shooting. So was... magic now happens. The spell happens in the phase it affects. So if it's a movement spell, it happens in the movement phase. And you can cast in all phases if you. Have... You can cast all phases. Yeah. So um, wizards like. They can attempt if, as long as they know the spells. So if you've got a level three wizard, he's going to know three spells. He can do more every turn. He can do more every turn, wow. unless he messes up in some way, like miscasts. You know, like that can affect him. And also, there's also the dispelling is quite interesting. It's like I don't know how many natural dispels you get, but if your wizard is in range of another wizard, the enemy wizard, they can start dispelling each other. Like so, there's right. like wizard. Basically, it's very. To you me, can't have more than one shot, shot at dispelling, surely. Just like I know, one, no, no, one no. wizard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, yeah, obviously, the better with the wizard, the more chance he is of dispelling something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But and to me, it looks like you ever see Big Trouble in Little China? Yeah, yeah. When the two Kurt wizards Russell. go up, each other, go up again. It's basically that. It's just like, <laughs> it's like, yeah. it's like you always beat me at this. <laughs> yeah. Um, so it's like big man wins. Everybody's being level fours. Well, so that's the thing. So there's a lot of restrictions there. Are like, uh, like okay, a, a thousand points you can have naught to one, uh, two, and then for every thousand points. So maybe a full size game might be one thousand nine hundred ninety nine. Just to stop the level fours. Just to stop two level fours, for example. But magic is is it's generally unpowered. There's no killer spells there. There's no okay. dwellers below. Okay. Which, That's good like, news. which ended units, which like ended purple games. worm or whatever the fuck they were called. Purple zone, no, yeah, yeah no. whatever. They're, they're all crap. It's all dog poop. Oh and yeah, nothing remains like, in play running around. Oh, they are, they are then, but they are nowhere near as powerful and then, as they used to be. Okay. Like templates, it's now unless you're completely under the template, you're only hit on a four plus. Right. So templates are not garbage, but they're much less effective than right. they used to be. Because like used to be, you're touched, you're, you're hit. Now it's four plus. Like the majority is four plus, not hit. Okay. Don't want to be here. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Right. So it's yeah, it's. But I'm, I'm hoping that it's a the Warhammer should be like, that kind of thing should be about maneuver. So I'm hoping that you know there but is. The weird thing was always a bit. Oh, what about charging? You can charge a lot further than you ever used to now. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. And there is counter charging in there, and uh, you know, so, random charging distances. So yeah, it's adding your distance. You're rolling dice, adding your movement and. Swift Stride gives you extra dice, extra movement. So you can actually charge quite far. And there are there's a lot more, like, Orcs and Goblins have lost, like, Amnosity. They've got, they've got Impetuous instead, which means they, if they can charge, they have to check to not charge. Why would they want them to charge? Well, because you can draw them, like, you can draw them out some really long charges, you know, which they won't make, which they could make, but they probably won't. Right. You know, then you can just... Then that's well, they have to be within theoretical charge distance. Yes, yes, there. yeah, yeah. But right. it's like, but if it's like, the equivalent of rolling a double six, for example. All oh, right, they still got to go. They got to check. Right. Yeah, you know, it's like if they fail, they try that charge. Yeah, and then they'll probably fail it, and that's they're not going where the Orc Goblin player wants them. Right. Okay. Yeah. Like, um. Yeah, and that's yeah. That's well, still not yeah. animosity because that was like that was that was a brain ache to deal with. Yeah. Well. Yeah. Like. Yeah. Heart. Yeah. A sick... I think the Black Orcs can quell that. Kind yeah, of and they nonsense. and they and they can quell the animos- They can quell the impetuous as well. Right. Okay. Yeah. Like they have like auras of control. Well, yeah, it'd be I mean, interesting to see how it pans out. No, I mean, I mean, a big, th- a big thing is because it's like, who knows what unit sizes will really be like? Like, will they be tiny units? Will they be bigger units? I don't know. Well, it used to be. I mean, this is this is like basic tactics, and you had to have an anvil, and then you had to have some hammers. But mm-hmm. well, your the problem was in the in the eighth edition, your anvils were so fucking big. That <laughs> it I mean, broke you, the game. Yeah, you know, it's like, it needs a it needs a careful read through of. Um, it is a careful read through of all the, of the ways that you can disrupt ranks because you can certainly do that if you're hit in the flanks. Uh, yeah, it's like otherwise you've got to have that. Otherwise, what what do like light cap do? What do spider riders do? They can't fight heavy cap. Yeah, no, exactly. Yeah. So uh, if you can't disrupt ranks, they can't do anything. No, yeah, yeah. So like, uh, yeah, my in my first building block of five hundred, I've got unit pistoliers, um, and they're impetuous. Sadly, so they'll be charging into combat when I don't want them to. But I'd rather they're just sitting on the flanks, like firing their double pistols and stuff. 
Which is weird because like, why does they? They're trying to be knights, yet they use firearms. It's a bit of a weird one. It's a weird one. Yeah, it's like I have to read the fluff of them. I'll just send my spiders to eat them. (laughs) (laughs) Well, that was a good thing. I was looking for um because they. The colossal squig doesn't exist now. There's a mangler squig, yes. which is just some abortion of a miniature, yeah, yeah. one of these super dynamic things where it's like a, a, a squig on a squig yeah, yeah, yeah. on a squig. Pr- I mean, you could. I mean, oh, you can get some you really can pretty fi- big probably boys. Find some better things. On yeah, 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 yeah. And I think that I mean, as with all GW stuff, it's not cheap. I think they wanted sixty-five per mangler squig or something. Probably. Yep. Have you no shame? I mean, they again, also, uh, monsters are a lot more effective than they used to be. Well, let's see how the giants work. Yeah, that's, uh, that's I mean, like, so part. cannons don't kill giants, they don't kill monsters, is like, is nowhere near as easily as they used to. Right. But you can still get trapped in a combat with a challenge. Yeah, so you at least survive one round, like, of your champion being stomped to bits. <laughs> you know, like, uh, <laughs> and if you're undead, you then raise him back and challenge again. Right. <laughs> you know, like, um, but yeah, it's. Uh, yeah, it's it's cool. It's like it's, it it will be lovely seeing all these old faces back at the club again, playing you know this funny and and I will do my best to like stop anybody being too whack with it. You know, there'll always be that. You know, like there'll always be that kind of player, but right. I'll do my best to like yeah. mitigate it as much as I can. Like um, you can get every army can get allies, for example. If that is just open to if that is really open to abuse, then I might have to like not be used. I don't know. Yeah. Oh, well, maybe it was like a, in ancient games that I've been playing, like allies have to roll and they can be like yeah, yeah, imped- they, impetuous allies. Yeah, they, or yeah like they, there is that in there. Renegade well. allies. But also, there's, also, every army can have mercenaries, but they haven't they haven't said what is a mercenary. What's a mercenary? Well, exactly. Like, maybe that's where future model releases are. Oh, jeez. Like mercenaries. Oh, like, I don't know. Like, moment, doesn't go too every far. army can get mercenaries, but there is and no they... entry of what a mercenary is. Yeah. What would an orc and goblin mercenary do? Well, there might be, there might be dogs of war units. They're not working for orcs and goblins. They work for anybody. <laughs> they would only work once, wouldn't they? <laughs> <laughs> not getting paid. <laughs> <laughs> I suppose not. <laughs> getting shanked. <laughs> Eat with a chopper. <laughs> Eat with a chopper. So I hope people do like uh, give it a go. Especially if, yeah, the, yeah. the buy-in. If you've got miniatures, the buy-in's nothing. Yeah, yeah. If, if anyone's listened to this, I would generally... It would be interesting to hear if such a thing happened locally at your club. And also, um, you know, if what you think to... Will this... Will Warhammer the Old World... Bring more or less players into Warmaster. It would certainly get Warhammer known more by a new generation of people. But you know, um, that'd be interesting. Your I don't think they're that. the same game. I think there's the Warmaster. Oh, no, 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 Warmaster, no. Warmaster is completely different. Yeah, story. no, no, no. They they're not the same game, but they are the same IP. Because how many? When you played Fantasy, how many like rank and flank units would you have? Three, maybe. Three, four, yeah. Three, four. Yeah. Some cavalry. Some. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. yeah. It's not like twenty units, is it? Or no. thirty units no, or whatever. No. no. Different, different animal. Different yeah. animal. I mean, like, it's as, you know, I seem to be the organiser of such things. It's like, you know, I'll be, you know, I'll be carefully reading those rule books and making sure, and like, you know, and, and certainly playing it as clean as possible because, you know, as in like, like, for example, dwarves, you know, is in like, look fantastically strong because there's a there's a real lack of armour penetration. So just the great weapons everywhere. Well, no, but, just, but also great weapons aren't the penalty they used to be. They aren't always strike last. Like they, they make you initiative one, but you can increase your initiative by like charging. So you know, if you you right. might be able to strike first with a, a great weapon, can and, you? And, yeah, that would not be devastating. Yeah, but... yeah, but it's you know, if you make. And if we said that you don't step up, that was another. That's rule. right. Yeah, it's a big, mass, big, big change. Yeah, that is yeah. a so because like um, only the stuff that's living after you fought them yeah. can yeah. fight back, which seems a bit weird, but I guess it represents who's losing the fight. So yeah. Which is why you say you get a boost to your initiative for charging. Yeah, so so basically, for every inch that you charge, you get plus one initiative up to a cap of three. If it's in the flank, it go to four, and so like so, if your initiative one guy charges four inches, which they would do, like in the flank, they're initiative, they're hitting initiative five. Yeah. That seems a bit easy, isn't it? Sure, you only have to move one inch to get plus one initiative. That's momentum, isn't it? But when you are shoved back, like so, a typical combat result is somebody gives ground. That's two inches. It's not three or four, it's two. Mm. So when you re-engage, somebody's charging, but they're only charging two inches. So you get plus two. So it's very it's a very war master rule. You know, yeah, you know, interesting. Yeah. So, it's like so they do just, separate when you They do separate up. and okay. the person the person who's won has the option of disengaging or continuing. If they continue, it's another charge. Right for them. Okay. Yeah. Like a pursuit. Okay, yeah. cool. Well it'll be interesting to see how it pans out. Yeah, yeah, yeah totally. Um yeah, and 
yeah, I say, and it's great for our club because it will get increase revenue like chunking through. And everybody who plays Warmaster must have at least come through Warhammer Fantasy. Oh, yes. Yeah, I would sure. have thought it's impossible yeah. for a player of Warmaster to have come straight to or, Warmaster. Or to not know what Warhammer is, yeah. I'm sure somebody will tell me that Jim came, <laughs> yeah. came through without having... Well, probably. Never, maybe he's the exception. But having like, never played Fantasy. Yeah, it may be easy. It may be easy. I mean, like, we'll have to, as members of the Warmaster committee, we'll have to see if, like, if they're if there's any really good ideas that come out of Warhammer, the old world, that we can reflect into. Well, apart from only having 17 factions. <laughs> yeah, I suppose. <laughs> I don't know we've ended up with 25 and they've only got 17. But yeah. anyway. Yeah. We, that, we do have 25. <laughs> anyway, good stuff. Good cool. stuff. Right, so um, I don't know what our next topic's going to be. No, we no, need no. to read to do it quicker ne- yeah. next time. Yeah, yeah. But, um, and we need to do a, a game at some point. Yes, could we even do a game of this? We could, yeah. For, for, the, for the people who yeah, are yeah, remotely yeah. interested. Okay, so um, that was episode 186 with yep. Paul and Barry. Thanks for listening. We're getting to 200 this year, maybe. Fantastic. Okay, laters. <laughs>